everyone, and welcome to The Tonight Show, starring my favorite cartoon character of all times, and let's hear it if he's yours, Mr. Bugs Bunny. My name is JD, and I'm the floor manager. It's my job to make sure that everything is ready and everyone is in place before we start the show. Wait, well, wait! Don't start without me. I'm the executive producer. Now you can start by explaining why everything isn't ready. Oh, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the executive producer of the Tonight Show, Sylvester. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You are too kind. Uh, you do know we go on the air in less than five minutes. Five minutes? We've got to stop pussyfooting around. We're the Tasmanian devil. The show can't it's start without music. Well, here he is now. <laughs> That's more like it. You do know we go on in under five. Yes, I know. Hey, Sylvester, well, why don't you tell the audience about the show? Well, I certainly will. Now pay attention, everyone. It's something surprising, something enticing, something for everyone but funny tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone but funny tonight. When you want laughs, when you want fun, you're in the right place, cause Bugs is the one. Nothing that's formal, nothing that's normal. Just entertainment that delights. Absolutely. A round of applause for Bugs Funny tonight. Fuckatash. We're gonna need a lot more enthusiasm than that for Bugs Bunny. Right, Sylvester. Folks, please take a look at the applause signs located above us on each side of the stage. Whenever you see those signs light up, we want you to clap and cheer, especially you kids out there, and make as much noise as you possibly can for as long as you see the applause signs flashing. Hey, Sylvester, why don't we practice this before Bugs comes out? Huh? Well, I was just about to say that. You know I am the executive producer. Ready, everyone? One, two, three. Well, that was pretty good, folks. But I think you can do better. After all, this is The Tonight Show featuring that superstar, Bugs Bunny. Come on, everyone, let's really hear it this time. Okay, okay, that's great. Enough already. You keep carrying on like this, you're gonna really foul things up. Did some, I say, did somebody mention foul? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Foghorn Leghorn. I am the co-host of the Tonight Show. I share the stage with bugs each and every night. I throw my laughter up to the rafters. I try to keep the show funny and live. Foghorn also makes sure that the guests feel comfortable once they're out here on stage. Right, Foghorn? <laughs> that's right. I say that's right, boy. Another thing I do is keep an eye on the monitors to be sure the camera operator is getting your best side. And that, I say that, is definitely <laughs> not your best side. <laughs> now, wait just a minute. Well, don't you get it, boy? I, may, I say I made a joke, and you're supposed to lie. Listen, you dumb cluck. Laughter is the least of my worries. I've got a show to produce, so let's get on with it. We're all excited. We're all delighted. Crank up the camera like the lights. If I'm with a show. Okay, is there wait. Any, what? I say wait just a minute there, son. Where's the volunteer? Oh, my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need a lovely young lady who will volunteer to assist us with one of our guest stars. I can't tell you which star it is, but I can tell you that this experience will stay with you for a long time. Gosh, there's, there's so many. Well, just point one up for me, Foghorn. Boy, I say boy. <laughs> yeah, I see a lovely little chickadee right over there. <laughs> Great. Uh-huh. Hi. What's your name? 
All right, everyone, let's hear it for our guinea pig. I mean, let's hear it for Cindy. Great, Cindy, when it's time for you to help, I'll come back and get you. And speaking of time, the show starts in one minute, and we're the phone engineer. Set. Okay. Where's the lighting technician? Ready. Good. Where, where's the camera operator? Ah, uh, she called in sick. Oh, great. What am I going to do? And just who's going to operate the camera? I guess you are? Now, wait just a minute. Since when does the executive producer run a camera? I guess since now, since we start in 10 seconds. What do you say? What's I say? What's the matter, boy? <laughs> Cat, I say, Cap, got your tongue? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay, quiet, everyone. Bring in the show curtain. We'll be on the air in five, four, three. From the Looney Tunes Studios at Six Flags, it, I say, it's the Tonight Show, starring Bugs Bunny. Featuring the keyboard talents of the Tasmanian Bill. <laughs> Tonight, Bugs welcomes the old adorable Peppy Le Pew, the king of wisecracks, Mr. Daffy Duck, and those fanatics of fitness, Hoggy and Petunia Pig. <laughs> and now, here I say, here. Time to quit your hunting For the best I recommend Some time with me, your furry friend What's up, Doc? What's for them? Hey, look out, stop! Fuck. We surprise Fuck. everyone With our tons of fun Hey, what's up, Doc? We really mean it What? What a great audience. Welcome to the Looney Tunes Studios, and especially the Tonight Show. We've got a great show tonight with some very special guests. Peppy Le Pew is here with a sample of his new cologne. Porky and Petunia Pig are here to show us some sizzling moves from their new video. We have a very special guest appearance from my old buddy, Daffy Duck. <laughs> and, of course, the Tasmanian Devil on keyboards. <laughs> hey, Doc, I got an idea. Do we have a couple of minutes? No. no. Sure we do, because I want to play Stump the Band. Let's turn up the house lights and see if we have anybody who wants to give it a shot. Okay, is there anyone here that is a song they think Taz doesn't know? Hey, uh, uh, stop right there, Doc. You. Yeah, you there in the pajamas. <laughs> you look harmless <laughs> enough. Hi, what's your name? Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Okay, Mac, it's time to stump the band. <laughs> so give it your best shot. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Hey, is that a personal question, Doc? <laughs> No, that's the name of the song. Do your ears hang <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, how about it, Taz? <laughs> well, looks like you've stumped him, Mac. Why don't you sing it for us? <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you time in a knot? Can you time in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears? Saying hello. Okay, Doc, you win. We're gonna give you a one-way bus trip for two to beautiful downtown boy bank. Wherever that is. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Turkey in straw. We'll be right back with Pippi Le Pew in just a minute. And out. <laughs> We've got problems. Foghorn, you go help Buck take care of Taz. I gotta talk to Sylvester about Daffy. Let's see what's going on here. 
What am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. Eh, what's up, Doc? I'll tell you what's up. That maniac of a mallard has his scissors ruffled. That's what. He's going crazy because he isn't the first guest on the show. Now he wants us to change the lineup so that he comes out ahead of Mr. Skunk de Moor. It's driving me nuts! Look, Mick, you tell Daffy that this is my show and he's just gonna have to wait until he has his own show to run things his way. Okay, boss. He's not gonna like it. He said what? Boy, have I got news for him. Excuse me. We are in the middle of a show. Okay, quiet on the set. The Tonight Show will be on the air in five, four, three. Welcome back. My first guest was the star of the Academy Award-winning cartoon for sentimental reasons. And he has recently created his own cologne for men. Please welcome Pepe Le Pew. Thanks for dropping by, Doc. <laughs> yeah. I know you've only got a few minutes, so uh, tell us about this new cologne. <laughs> oh, oui, oui, mon ami. I call it Oh de Love, because it captures my own romantic aroma. Oh, really? <laughs> oui. Now, everything <laughs> may smell exactly like me, and therefore, <laughs> find <laughs> the smell <laughs> 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 Well, I say, what did you step in, sir? <laughs> You've also recorded a song about this stuff? Yes, what? I call this song Love. Oh, catch him, Mac. We, oui. and I have come here to sing it for you and demonstrate how overwhelming my fragrance can be. I believe, I say I believe, we already know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that special volunteers that agreed to join me here on stage? Oh, come here, my little mon chéri. Maestro, s'il vous plaît. Come here, my little love bundle. Mm -hmm. You can have it. You can hear it call. My heart when it falls and when love flies, it's gone. That is all. Can't you see that you put me on the brink of passion when you say? Please to coming back, mon chéri. Pardonnez-moi, but my new cologne has made her crazy for love. Oh, you will buy a bottle, no? Where are you, my little love bundle? Buffer and fuck attack. Goodbye, Peppy. Uh, sorry you had to rush off. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, looks like it's time for my next guest. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome my dear friend, that zany and unpredictable <laughs> Mr. Daffy Duck. Thanks, fans. Thank you. Uh, but before I sing, I have an announcement to make. A news flash. I've just moved back to L.A. to star in my own late-night talk show. <laughs> what? And it's gonna be great! It's 
a dust life and I love it. My new talk show is a place to be. We play every night, relax every day. This is the place to throw your cares away. Well, it's a duck life and I love it. If there's heaven, this is it for me. I'm telling you, bugs, you better beware. Because millions of viewers will start losing their hair. Get it? Hair? Hmm? Well, it's a duck life and I love it. The bright lights, the cameras, a big fancy car. A Warner Brothers promise it will make me a star. I tell you. It was great, Daffy. We'll be right back after these messages. And we're out. Daffy, you're not supposed to make surprise announcements on the show. Is that why you cut to a commercial before the audience had finished their applause for me? That made me look like a lame duck. <laughs> lame duck. Lame duck. Get it? <laughs> what did you expect, <laughs> old pal? <laughs> That's good, Rabbit. You calling me old. I just calls them like I sees them. Then you'd better eat a few more carrots, friend, because you're not seeing so good. Look who's over 50. And look who has his own show. Mwah. But look who's about to have his own show. You've always tried to follow my lead, Daffy. Your lead? I believe we're forgetting who worked in cartoons when you were just the furball wannabe. So, uh, you're saying that I'm younger and more successful. We're on again in five, four, three. You're despicable. Look who's calling who. Uh, oh, hello again. Uh, we're here talking with my dear friend, Daffy Duck was about to begin hosting his own nighttime talk show. Uh, that's right, that's right, yes. It's called Late Night with Daffy Duck, and it'll be on the Merry Melodies Network. And, uh, what mm. time slot are you in, Daffy? <laughs> Why, uh, this time slot, of course. <laughs> but that, I say that, makes you the competition. There won't be any competition once viewers have seen my show. This is a catastrophe. So, uh, Daffy, I guess this will be our last television appearance together for a while. You got that right, Buster. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, do you still want to sing something together? Sure, Daffy, and I know just the song. Well, then, say, I say sing it. <laughs> Let me make it very clear, just beat it, try and beat it. But you better run, you better do what you can. Cause I'm the best, I'll be the one who's in demand. I'm gonna be tough, better make some new plans to beat it. Just beat it. So beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it. I will never be defeated. Watch me, you'll see a super new show. Understand, just beat it. But beat it. You're huffing puff 
So do you think that I'm scared? You're up against the king of top, you best beware. When I beat you and I top you every night, there is square. Just beat it, don't try and beat it. Oh, so beat it. Don't go far, cause we're coming right back with me with Porky and Petunia Pig. And we're off. Is everyone ready for the next guest? Oh, I think so. Oh. I'll go check on him. What's going on here? Hmm, just taking a closer look. It's only a couple of pigs. <laughs> wait, I say just wait till you see their outfits. Hmm, I know exactly what I'm doing. They're gonna be moving around a lot. Here, let me help, pal. <laughs> Watch it, Buster! I've locked it in on a wide shot, so we're all set. Okay, last segment, Bugs on Camera 2, 5, 4, 3. Welcome back. My last guests this evening are a couple of big names in the business. They've just released a new exercise video called Pigs in Shape, and they're here to show us some sizzling hot moves. Please welcome Porky and Petunia Pig. Is everyone okay? We're all just, I say, we're all just peachy. No, thanks to the Wiggly Piggly. You'll be able to watch it. Say, it wasn't her fault, Daffy. Obviously, this set has a few screws loose. Well, Doc, the important thing is that we're all okay. And that we're all together. You said it, Petunia. <laughs> I guess I say, I guess we are a cartoon family. Come on, Come on, show they said it's all sing. Everyone can see we're together. Everyone. 
walk on by And we flock just like birds of a feather <laughs> I won't tell no lie All of the people around us say Can they be that close? Just let me stay for the record We're best of friends, yes, and I must boast We are family to thank the Tasmanian Devil and my guests Peppy Le Pew, Daffy Duck, and Porky and Petunia Pig. Well, see you later. Good night, everybody. Don't forget to watch my new show. Good night. I'll say good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Pick up a copy of our video. Who oh, needs a video? Eat the pig's in shape. I'm on the Merry Melodies Network. <laughs> the show is over already. But my show starts next week. And we're gone. And that's a wrap. Great job, Doc. And thanks again, everybody. You've been a great audience. Yeah. <laughs>